she's alive! Alive! Hardened criminals these days have to look forward to being caged and told what to do until their sentence ends, or their life does. But after you see what criminals of the Middle Ages had to endure, jail will quickly become a welcome sight. Perhaps one of the worst things about this is that the people were accused of petty crimes, and the accusers were nothing more than persons in positions of authority gone mad with power making most take pity on anyone who committed any crime. Enjoy. The Saw Before the saw was given its perfunctory role to slice through wood and thick material, it was used to slice through humans for torture or execution. The victim would be held upside down, allowing the blood to rush to their head. And then the torturer would slowly start slicing them between their legs. With the blood contained in the head, the victim would remain conscious throughout most of the slicing, often only passing out or dying when the saw hit their midsection. The Breast Ripper, or Spider. For those women who were accused of adultery, abortion, or any other crime, they were subjected to the painful torture of the Breast Ripper, or Spider. As the name suggests, the claw-like device, which ended in spikes, was heated and then used to rip off or shred a woman's breasts. The spider was a variant, attached to a wall instead of clamped onto a woman's breast by a torturer. The Rack Probably the most commonly known torture device from the Middle Ages, the rack was a wooden platform with rollers at both ends. The victim's hands and feet were tied to each end, and the rollers would be turned, stretching the victim's body to uncomfortable lengths. The Knee Splitter Used frequently during the Spanish Inquisition, the knee splitter naturally was used to split a victim's knee. The device was built from two spiked wood blocks with a screw at the back and was clamped onto the front and back of the knee. One turn of the screw and presto, the knee was easily and painfully crippled. It was also used on other parts of the body. The Head Crusher An extremely inventive name, obviously. The Head Crusher, much like the Breast Ripper and Knee Splitter, did exactly what it was called. The chin sat on the bottom rung, the head under the cap, and the turning of the screws would result in a very disgusting death. Brains seeping out of the popped eye sockets, crushed teeth and bones, and mutilated remains. The Wheel Most commonly used in Germany during the Middle Ages, the wheel was a favorite form of execution. The victim was tied to the wheel on the ground, and wooden cross pieces were placed under each major joint, wrist, ankles, hips, shoulders, and knees. After the 
pleasant trees were observed. The torturer would start hammering the cross pieces with a heavy, iron-enhanced wheel. Following the severe bashing, the victim's limbs were braided into the spokes of the wheel and displayed to the general public until the victim died. The Wooden Horse Also known as the Wooden Pony or the Spanish Donkey is the name given to an extremely painful torture device used throughout history particularly during the American colonial period and medieval times. There are three variations of the device. However, the principle and design is the same. The wooden device is triangular in shape and angled, often sharpened at the top. The victim is forced to straddle the triangular horse, placing their full body weight on their vulva with additional weights added to their ankles to keep them from falling off. Needless to say, the additional weight would pull the victim's entire body down, severely injuring their crotch, and sometimes even slicing it in half, making it one of the most brutal torture devices ever. The Judas Cradle Similar to the wooden horse, the Judas Cradle was a pyramid-shaped and sharpened device on which a victim was lowered via ropes. As the victim was lowered, the device would slowly tear open their anus, vulva, or scrotum. Though the device is often attributed to the Spanish Inquisition, there is evidence that it existed before this time as part of carnival sideshows. All of these beauties make lethal injection seem like a warm hug, don't they? I would imagine that if these were the consequences for committing crimes these days, I think the number of crimes committed would plummet immediately. If you have a deeply disturbing subject you would like to see here, please contact me through any of my social media links or email me at duchessdark676 at gmail.com. See you next time.